Well, let's call the next meeting to order. Thank you. Uh, 8.56. Um, first order of business is to approve the minutes from the last two meetings, I guess it is. Make a motion to approve the minutes from February 11th and a special meeting on February 26th. Second. All in favor? Okay. And then we'll hand over to. Oh, sorry, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sneak in your plate. These are so good, they're hard to resist. I know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, there is a set of warrants making their way around the table. Yeah. Um, five in total for uh, a total of $31,728.73. Um, some things from the after school program. General fund um, school choice, general fund payroll, and school lunch are the funds uh, from which those warrants are coming. There's also a series of payroll warrants for when you don't have meetings that just need uh, success of signatures on them. So, thank you. You also have in front of you uh, results of operations for February. <coughs> I am currently working on um, the projections. Um, for the end of the year, so as we get closer to that final quarter, um, that you'll have a chance to, you know, mm -hmm. by the next meeting, uh, be able to see where you stand um, and uh, what we're projecting out for the end of the year, um, so that again we make sure that we leave everything in a good place. So there's nothing out of the ordinary that you saw through it. Um, I didn't see. No, there are a couple of just uh, small, you know items that, uh, you know, lines are overspent, but I think there's certainly plenty of room within uh, some of the lines that we can But we're not them. talking a lot of money yeah. either, so. No. So I think uh, there's certainly enough, of, um, you know, to make sure that everything is whole, but again, I want to do that, that long-term projection. So I've started working on it, but. Um, I just see the transportation, the sped transportation, we're, we're in the hole already about forty forty four hundred dollars Correct me if I'm wrong. What page are you on? Page five. Yeah, and Top. that could be just that something yep. is not being charged because that technically, according to the budget um, that you know I looked at, that technically should all be coming out of um, school choice. So I will check on that one okay. as well. Um, Thanks. There's no concerns to us. We haven't heard through yet. Um, I haven't seen any from some of the work that I've been doing just to kind of project things, project things out. But um, I think that uh, we're in an okay place. So. Mm -hmm. um, do we have unfinished business or public comment? <coughs> public's all left us. <laughs> um, <laughs> Business update on that stuff. That was the original talk about the backstop. I don't know. I don't know what we're, we're. I think we said at the last meeting. I mean, waiting to see what the. This is the backstop here in the. Right, with the rec. With the highway department. Oh, what the rec decides about the softball field. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I think they're not planning to come here from what I last heard. Okay. They're thinking about going to Hurley. I know it was between the two places. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that's finalized yet. It'd be tough to put another field down there, but yeah. it would be over where the kids play soccer. Yeah, soccer, soccer I would say. It's near the river, which is sort of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, they're going closer to the river. Yeah. That's about there. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. well, on the playground, I got this lovely brochure at home, or John did actually, <laughs> from a nice company that does playgrounds, so you can peruse that and dream about having a safe Disney World. Look at that. Yeah. Very nice very very <laughs> These are the latest and greatest, yeah. I guess. Yeah. When we when we did it when we did it years ago, uh, it was it was a brochure like that. We were almost like okay, and it had you know it had like pricing. I saw oh, we had this much money. Okay, what can we buy? Yeah, okay, like yeah, there you go. We, no, but we had quite a few. We could buy we could buy this. We could buy this. We could buy this. We the guy that sold it to us was here for the whole day. Even he was turning nuts and bolts. We were mixing a lot of concrete that day, you know. Yeah, we, it. But it's but it's interesting. I mean, it's. Oh, nice. Yeah. Belchertown actually built 
a 100% accessible playground. I've been on that playground. Jessica's found this playground, so wow. uh, Chrissy, if that's some place for everyone to go take a What peek. is it? It's called so Jessica's Pound playground. playground that was named after a student who passed away with special needs, and it actually was fundraised um, outside of the budget. Mm -hmm. But you said it's what kind of a playground? It's completely accessible. To at everybody. all levels. And at it's all like levels. all rubber yeah. bottom to yeah. it. So there are double wide ramps so that a wheelchair can turn, mm -hmm. you get to the top of the slide, there's the ability for a student to be able to get themselves out of the wheelchair and get down the slide on their own, you yeah. know, those kinds of things. Yeah, so, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, um, so I guess we'll take that off the agenda for the time being. We'll do. And then update on school choice, I'm not sure who's doing that. So, um, so you have the updated school choice numbers for the year. At the okay. same time, I put on the April 4th um, agenda that we need to vote, vote for school choice numbers. Okay. In the meantime, Chrissy went to put together anticipated school choice openings, and she has them. Mary. Mary, Mary put yes. together, and then handed <laughs> to Chrissy, who handed it to me, so then I thought it was from Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she tricked us, but um, so if there's any errors, it's Mary's fault. Um, yeah, and so, <laughs> Mary, <doesn't laughs> Mary. Let's beat up by Mary. Um, you, did you hand those up? I did. Yes. Oh. We have okay. Those so, things, so, so you have those numbers ahead of time for, as we know, the uh, joint meeting tends to be a little bit more as we break apart. Um, it's a little more. Use the word chaotic. Good morning, um, everyone. Less focused. Less. It's 9:03 so in the office. <clears throat> Today's lunch will be beef taco. Mm -hmm. There's no birthdays. And today for the pledge we have Brianna, Lucia, Calvin. Please stand. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Uh, Thank you, and have a great day. So I, I guess that if you want, we, so there's not, it's not on the agenda to vote it today. Okay. So I, I can't just throw it on there because it's not something we didn't anticipate. Mm -hmm. um, so, but if you could ask any questions with the information in front of you while we kind of have, and then, then it would make your life a little bit easier on the fourth okay. if you want to do that. Or you can just digest it, come up with questions to ask on the fourth. So kind of a pre read of where the numbers so are. We might want to let a few more come in, maybe if the, is this when you say we have to vote on it, we have to vote to accept this student? So no. is my understanding that you just vote to be a school choice school. Yes. And then it's gotten to um, the a lot of school committee members have given guidance on how how they want the class sizes to be. Okay. Legally, right. you're just you're just choosing to be a school choice school or not, which mm -hmm. I think is a kind of a. Okay, then. Uh, we understand you can go the different other way with that. Um, um, but it's also a time to kind of review, um, you know, what's going on with school mm -hmm. choice and keeping an eye on those numbers. I mean, I think the big number we have to look at next year is, as you take a look at, you know, pull out you have your both. I'm sorry, Chris, I'm touching your stuff here. Um, but you have what we're, where we're at now, and then you're having what we're projecting for next year. I mean, you gotta look at your classes that are exiting versus your classes coming in. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, School Choice is opening kindergarten, and we're still accepting applications, and it's early, it's kind of early even. Um, I think right now is when people are starting to look and, and make considerations. Um, so we need to really get that number of, you want that number to be the same as the number that's going out, at least. If not, and of course, we're growing is even better, so. Um, Okay. So you can see where she has um, applications are already coming in, and um, the number five there, and hopefully that will go up over the next few weeks, months. We have six, sixth grade choices. Those are new Same. applications. What's that? Yeah, those are new ones. Yeah. Those are new applications coming in. We have six going out. So right now, you know, we need to get a few more to, you know, the, again, we're talking about why the whole idea of why we're looking at the budget the way we are, getting all the school choices that you have to have some flexibility. It's still early though, so we're expecting that number to go up. Yeah. Um, and it's a healthy class size to take numbers. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. we have, do we have a lot of openings? Yes, plenty of openings. Plenty of openings. Okay. Yep. And um, I mean, I would, I would, 
on what we're trying to do Except for third grade. with showing the publicizing the school but I would make sure whoever is in charge of our our web page um, should be on top of it mm -hmm. adding adding new things to it right I heard somebody say video Videos today maybe doing page. some videos and mm -hmm. whatever can promote our website and that's yeah, what people that's, that's what people are going to I heard a comment somebody said I'm not sure I think Darius was in the room somebody made a comment well you're you're your your websites are up to date or something like that I mean I'm saying ours but mm -hmm. somebody's in our in our district and I think it's important that we're on top of that because mm -hmm. that's what people are going to go to be you know say oh we, he's got some school choice oh that fits in for our kids so first thing they're going to do other than calling here is to go Let's to the website that. and if it's easy to get to the website <coughs> and and promote it mm -hmm. dr. Birch you know we're just yeah. these are the big things that we really want to and people right. are going to come here hopefully so and um, I think the PTO did a nice job of highlighting a lot of the um, value statements for why we would make such a special school so we should try and think about putting translating those to the website mm -hmm. and to well and I, if you put um, school choice Western Mass into a search engine there are some districts that come up because they have a separate page that's just for school mm. choice. So I wanted to put a separate page. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. For school choice. Yeah, so that if someone there. if someone is searching, that will pop up. Right. Excellent. Who's a who takes care of our web page here? Is it is it Scott that takes care of all of them, or is it somebody in house that? Well, right now things? it's a. I mean, we can. It's a load. That's a loaded question. Because we have a platform now that's very easy for, um, for us to load things onto for announcements and that kind of stuff. That's it's you know if we want to do something like create a page, um, you know we can do it. It's not okay. it's not hey, who exactly does it right now. Um, really doesn't have a designated person so to speak. Like Frontier has a designated person mm -hmm. who sees the website. So well, maybe we, we, we should we think about that. designating somebody to. We may have somebody in the house here that's. That flirts, you know, plays with it a little bit, and that knows what they're doing. Possibly, they could work with Scott. Yeah, so we'll get we'll if we'll get that moving on that. Mm -hmm. So we'll get the maybe uh, for our next meeting here. Yeah. We could talk. You guys could come back with some ideas. And I hope that we can come back to the next meeting with a with something moving forward, an mm -hmm. update. You know, for school choice, kind of. You know, even um, have done some. Yeah, some marketing with some marketing within, within awesome. the website, and then we can even create a link off that website. To another site to, for that. that. That's not. That shouldn't. That's be. not. That's not huge taxing. Once we get the right people lined up. Again. <laughs> yeah, we good. also. I worked on the idea to see if we can get video students to come out and do a video. Um, you know. I, I, think, that we do do I think we should get some of the alumni from Waitley Elementary mm -hmm. to do the Waitley video. You know, because like there were a lot of them here last night at the banquet, the basketball yeah. banquet. <laughs> I think the whole town was. I think so too. <laughs> We had a great, nice yeah. basketball banquet to celebrate okay. all our kids' successful. We had a very <coughs> successful season. Yeah. That's the tournament. Yeah. Okay. On to sprinkler project. Is anyone going to work on that? I think we're still in a holding pattern. We're waiting to hear about the bids, the right. last round of bids, I believe. But I heard, I heard we did get a bid. It was a little higher, but the town was going to take up the difference. Right. Correct. That's what I heard, but we haven't got any confirmation. So. And I haven't heard anything. I haven't been contacted about scheduling the next. No. Next okay. Piece, so. Maybe we could talk to somebody. Could talk to Brian through and find out because you know we do have another school break coming up, or if it's going to be a summer uh, process. Just, you know, there again, I just now moved on to summer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it would be nice to get it done this summer. Since it's been going on for, for a whole year, and the gym floors, and the gym floors. Now you see why. <laughs> we did well despite our gym floor. I said to John after the game, "It's a really great game, but boy, those kids were slipping around all over the place." <laughs> uh, to to uh, piggyback on different things, is is our generator 100% ready to go? And should I believe so? Oh, I haven't heard the final time. Okay, go. Go cut the power. Let's find out. <laughs> yes, it's, it is. It's, it is a hundred percent. So power goes out. It comes on. That you know of. Okay. We haven't lost power. It's been a good winter. I know. It's been a really good. <laughs> be a good idea. And it to, does, might be a good idea to it have it. Does something every weekend. It cycles through, right? Takes <laughs> so. Good. 
just yeah, he does something. That's my okay, expertise. On he it. does something. That's <laughs> Except I'll ask Keith. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I'll ask Keith. There, there was some sort of glitch that they, there was something to do with pipes, plumbing, or something, and the generator itself and a, a door that had been put on in such a way that you couldn't open it. Such complication. Oh, did not reach my, did not reach my desk, so, so I, we need maybe solve. a final confirmation of that all the work's been yeah. done related to it. I believe it has been so Yeah, I did too. Yay. Eversource finally showed up. Mm-hmm. But they have to come back again, right? It didn't, yeah, they were, it got messed up. The day, I guess, they didn't get notice or whatever. But. Okay, so back to the budget. Um, any further discussion? Um, thank you. Are we renovating anything? Yeah. 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 Do we have to go back to the finance committee? At this well, point? my thought would be to send this to the finance committee after this meeting <coughs> and share it with them. I think I don't know who does that, but I'm happy to do it. Mm-hmm. We, have we sent have we sent that the town this yet? The new no. one, six point one eight. Can you guys have a vote on that? Uh, yeah, we're we're I shared with them the new number just because they were asking for it for their planning purposes, but I said we hadn't voted on it yet, so I didn't share the whole thing. Um, I'll make know, a motion. I just had one question about it before, and I didn't want to get into it before, but the stipends or the retirement money that gets paid out, that's like one-time money, right? Mm-hmm. Does that have to be part of an increase in the operating budget? No, we you, you can pay those from somewhere else? You can pull. Other because towns have at times, especially you know, with a staff this size where it's infrequent, yeah. you may have a retirement once every three years based on the size. So um, they pulled it out and used it and made it a Warren article, so it doesn't increase the budget. Right. I, right. That was sort and of so, one thought I and had. And that's when that's what we've done in Sunderland a few years ago. They had three people retire one year, and mm-hmm. that was just because a you don't large have to amount. increase the whole budget. I mean, we could, but mm-hmm. if we pulled out that eight thousand dollars or almost nine thousand dollars, that would reduce the increase. Mm-hmm. For the town, and I think that I'd love to get it under hundred thousand. I guess this is what I was thinking. Like it's a Judy lot of money. Can, could Judy a few moments? I imagine she can make that happen. Let me, let me show you what that is. So that would be on the last page. There's separation costs, and um, those numbers here. That eight thousand. So next year, we don't know. We might need some retirement money, but we don't know yet what we would need. So we would just ask for those as a separate item. So it's more like a one-time. Request. Who's who's retiring for eight? That we have to pay out eight thousand. Do we have an idea? Do we know? Is this a place? Yeah, these are specific mm-hmm. to people. I think that have already retired. It's official, right? Mm-hmm. I don't yes. know. Already retired. Oh, I don't know. I forget how it works. What page are you on? On page thirteen. 14 on right. This is maybe. Is that the March 3rd one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that have you already received that yes. letter? Yeah, you I, I had received it in time. So is that part of this? That's, or no? yeah, yeah. That's, uh, okay. that's weekly share of it. Yeah. So if you were to look at those as potential offsets, that would bring the percent down to 5.65. But the question is whether or not a town warrant. Different, I, I would say it's different if they were. Weekly people. Teachers in house or whoever in house versus mm -hmm. a shared. A share, yeah. Share. That's yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Well, and sometimes it's a lot more. We've had. You know, right. It can be a lot more. Sometimes it can be close in, in the twenty thousands, and that's a different number okay. than eight. Okay. I was just trying to think about how that. I mean, it could be offered up, I guess. Okay. But what is that? Do? And that's the total. The percentage number. then goes down. Then it's, it's like ninety-five. Yeah, it's ninety-five. Oh, four, five is. We can also take it out of the thirty-five or thirty-eight thousand dollars we got in school choice if we want. If we want to do something like that, but that. Yeah, but we don't want to reduce that no, anymore. No, no, yeah, no. I wouldn't. Okay. That. Well, let's just stick with it. And it's either leave it or take it out of school okay. choice, but I wouldn't do an article. Or right. And we didn't change seven. anything else except for that one salary for that one position. Right. So it's essentially the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll make a motion to accept this year's uh, or next year's budget of one million seven eighty five one eighty four increase of six point one eight percent total change of one hundred three nine twenty five. So and so do you want us to send that on to Brian? Oh, how about I'll send it on and copy this? Okay, sure. Is that good? Yep. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just change it so it has an improved date. That would be great. Yeah. So and then I'll send, send it up. Judy is going to email you. And you are going to email Brian. Okay. All right. I'm out of that loop. Brian <laughs> there today? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Five year transportation contract? So, yeah, so I want to just get that ahead of time. Um, it should be in front of you. But basically, so you have a chance to something like that to be handed out and then voted upon because it doesn't make a lot of sense. So, um, and originally, remember when we had this meeting, I had that for about a week, and then this meeting got postponed. So, <laughs> it's, some of these things that are being held off, you're like, well, we could have put it on the agenda and actually done through it. But I think it's better to do it as a joint meeting since you're kind of entering a contract with all the other elementary schools. Um, and so, there's two contracts out there one for Frontier, one for the elementary schools. And so, you can kind of just go through it. Um, you know what? I will forward, there was supposed to be a budget page on the back side of that, and I noticed it didn't get included. And so, I will um, email that out to you guys as well. All the other school committees got that as part of the packet for some reason that was. I noticed that when I arrived this morning. That um, yeah, there's one more page. That there's a page. Like that. It has all the numbers, the which figures. is probably the most important thing to look at is yeah. what, the, what the actual numbers are. How much are. it's going to cost? So um, this is what went out, and then you have to send it out to so many companies. So we we went we put it out to bid. Yeah. The bids came in. We had a uh, one uh, one 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 bid, bid. one bid from Gripco Transportation. Um, his bid was for the elementary schools. Um, Two dollars less per bus, yeah. bus per day. Yeah. However, the regional school got got the the big the, the big increase. Mm -hmm. um, in, in in conversations, you know, because he's a loan bidder, we also can negotiate. So we we did have a conversation with him. Um, Bob led that conversation, um, and it was about you can shift the costs around if you want, um, but the regional the regional district gets reimbursement. And so his mentality was, I'll put more than more the change in burden there mm -hmm. think. so either way the, the towns get you know you get assessed percentage wise either way so you're kind of shuffling around things of you know what is it you know how are things perceived mm -hmm. um i think it worked well within the frontier budget because we had a very good year with health insurance so normally we'd have a huge jump there and so that kind of you know a year if we didn't have a large jump in the health insurance i think frontier would have a very good budget this year because but that kind of filled that void where we had a good health insurance year um, there but so that was kind of mentality so either way you know we could put it back on all the elementary school budgets um, several yourselves and um, Sendlin included um, really at the elementary level couldn't afford 
that kind of thing. So we kind of agreed that you know this okay. model moving forward is fine. So mm -hmm. uh, again, I'll get you the kind of the summary sheet there. Okay. His also his bid compared to um, the joint bid that happened up north. Um, he was close to sixty thousand dollars a day cheaper. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yes. So, oh, so we did it, was like, it was like it was like it was like three ninety four for them. $6,000 a day. What was no, that? I was yeah, like, three dollars. Like, yeah, like sixty. The total, the total cost to the entire region is three hundred twenty nine dollars a day, and I think that joint bid Thank was three ninety three a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, were six bids that were taken out, and group coat was the only one who returned it. So, so what is the three ninety three? What, what is that for? Um, for bus for the whole district, for the oh, whole up north bid, they were three ninety three. Yeah, Franklin County did a joint bid yeah. for the northern tier, oh, that, and so that came through at three ninety three. That we would have been. Yeah, we were part of. We weren't. We chose uh, not to I be see. because we this year been. they chose this year in order to get a more competitive bid. What was happening? They tried this in the past, and what happened is people withdrew, mm. and so the bidders that obviously it changes the number of buses, it changes your your size and scope, and and so they made it this year this year that you were not going to be allowed to if you didn't like the bid to remove yourself mm -hmm. you have to kind of stay in with it we knew knowing the local provider has been been lower than others um you know we chose not to join the joint bid and mm -hmm. in the long run it again it, it was the right move yes. because it, this came in Overall. and so i just wanted the reason why i'm saying that out loud is because you do when you have a local you know someone at the last meeting said, isn't it a monopoly of a sort mm -hmm. um but when you're looking at the the price that was given you know, I have to give credit that it is far Benefit, lower right? than what our neighboring towns are, are paying for similar rural routes. Mm -hmm. So, um, and there were so six, I think it's six companies that, yeah, I mean, six people took bids out, you know, mm -hmm. and just nobody else chose to return. And right. whether or not they did some research and realized that money's been a long time provider, yeah, yeah. not to bid on it. Um, but you never know. Okay. So anyways, that will be discussed at the the joint meeting in April. Okay. So then you can, we'll vote at the okay. uh, the union 38 will vote on that, and then Frontier will vote on that. I mean, that's just contract language. That our, the contract was written up by our attorney. Mm -hmm. um, so the bid came in, and then we write up a contract, and then we approve the contract, and then we'll... We're we'll really vote. voting on the price and the... the yeah, budget. that's what I'm saying. The price page yeah. is the most important. Like we don't need right, right. I was going to say the price page is the most important the page, and so, um, okay. yeah, it was unfortunate. And that so frontier I'll, being being higher there, we also got a lot less in renewable transportation, a lot less. Oh, right. So the part of the hit that we had at frontier was a uh, new contract plus the higher, the less percentage less. from the state. Right. But that may change. We're hoping that changes. A little bit, so we'll hopefully find out in the next month or so. Okay. Okay. Um, calendar for the next meeting. The thing that you is, is um, the other thing we are voting on at the joint meeting is the calendar. So I wanted you guys have a chance to look at that. There's two calendars in front of you: one for Union 38 and one for um, when you want to do the school committee. So um, I, I think I was gonna. Um, Couple of years ago, voted on that Friday. Is that so? It snuck back. In. Yeah. yeah so why is that did that there? happen? <laughs> that that did that happen? <laughs> who uh, so no, that happen? Who did that happen? So I put that back in um, because I like it. <laughs> so and I had this. And I was and so I had this conversation with um, with both Deerfield and and Frontier. Um, you know. Uh, the start, the long weekend at the end of the at the end of the summer, um, in the start and stop um, of getting young kids on board for that school week. It's a high energy week, um, and so I got a lot of positive feedback on it. So it's one of those things I told people. I'm going to be honest. That's you know um, I put it back in there because I, when I how I see the year starting off, mm -hmm. and then you get to have a long weekend, um, you know, to kind of close out the summer. The where I was shoveling it thick the other night with, with, with um, <laughs> Frontier, to be blunt, is that we get to set the priority of the community when we, when we label that weekend as a longer weekend for families to close out the summer. Mm -hmm. um, see how I can shovel that kind of thing. But there is some truth to it. The school committee does set the calendar for the kind of the community, and that yeah. just kind of shows the value there. Um, right. So, you know. Um, so, when does school start? School starts the 28th. 28th. You go yeah. to the school for twice. Two, two days. Two days. Yeah. Two days. 
you get two days in before right. the kind of the you go to the Cape for four days now <clears throat> yeah the counter argument from the families I think is that you you know you're trying to get school started you're trying to get into the routine the kids you want them to value going yeah. to school on a regular basis the summer. <laughs> and by then we've said goodbye <laughs> to summer so um, I can appreciate why it would be nice but I also think it's like just sort of like you just had the whole summer <laughs> why do you need one more day but, yep. you know, um, you put some flat time in there. I knew I was going. I'm gonna. prepared to. Yeah, it's a good discussion. I was, the one, I, you know, I was probably one of the ones last year. I said, geez, two days we got. A yeah. four-day weekend? We got a three-day weekend? What's a four-day weekend, you know? It's like. I get it. You already have I a three-day weekend. I'd like, like Good Friday if I could just take Right, that. we could trade it for something no, later. No, it's snow days. If we had them Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that week, then we. I would trade that for Monday. some early release discussion or changes potentially so that was the other that's a good question to not be a fan of early release. so the question was also <laughs> brought up about early release and that's why it's again why we're going to have this as a joint vote so to speak because there's a different thing so the early release um i understand it needs to be looked at it's not something i had the time to do this year and then what i couldn't express at the last meeting but now it's made public is Luis law is leaving mm -hmm. and so i do not want to change the professional development delivery model and onboard a new person um, to, to lead, you know, Luis is the leader of our um, professional development for the elementary schools. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I think it's something that we're gonna look at next year um, and, and what that's gonna look like. You know, the, the old model is not something we're gonna, we should go back to. You know, if we're going to, we went from a model that had very little to almost no professional development um, that was taken by the parent conferences. Um, however, that was, you know, negotiated out with the, with the teachers and such. Um, this model provides professional development. So if we're going to go to a new model, what does the delivery of that look like? And I think mm -hmm. we have to get a lot of feedback from the community, from parents, from teachers, and so on and so forth about what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At this point, you know, from interim through the, this kind of thing, I, you know, it's not something I addressed, er, you know, early enough. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So <coughs> that's just being me being honest in the sense. No. I mean, and, and the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to. I don't want to take a step backwards because I think we've had some a lot of positive things out of professional development. I think there's been um, the, the tricky points has been what happens with the, the kids who are staying through and the, the strain on um, supervision yeah. by yeah. by um, especially the IAs um, who certainly weren't aren't thrilled about doing having to do supervisory duties only on on Fridays. And, and that kind of thing. So we tried a lot of different things along the way to fix that, but mm -hmm. that's what. The, that's so what we'll start the discussion <coughs> early next, like earlier than this yeah. point yeah. next yeah. year, and probably over the summer. Oh yeah, get yeah. feedback yeah, part from of all the parties mentioned. Yeah, yeah I appreciate. I, I definitely do not want to reduce any professional development, but I think revisiting the schedule and the impact on the kids and the staff is really important. I will remind everyone that. There were a lot of things promised at the beginning of the mm -hmm. last early release um, planning that did not happen. And so I think we just need to be as transparent mm -hmm. and open as possible with that process. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad to hear that you're thinking about it. Sure. And any changes that are going to be happening, I, it, it's got to be communicated okay. better than when this first started. Yeah, this was not a um, process. I think Waitley and Conway had no idea the parents. Um, yeah. Well, or they did, but no, they were told a lot of other things. Well, there was no communication. Didn't. Just um, the superintendent came to a PTO to a meeting, meeting which right. like four people go to. Right. And that was the announcement. So okay. better communication about it. Yeah, we can we yeah. can fill you in on more of that if you want. Sure. But yeah. No, the point is not to go back to that model. Or yeah. In terms of rolling out whatever comes from that. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, so we're going to vote on this. In April. And the other the other date that's. Um, was in question that's gone back and forth is whether or not the 20th of December should be a half day or not. Um, the original calendar was a half day, and then it, it's I'm far enough from yeah, the the ho the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was the. But then I got feedback from the administrators that says, you know, that that last day is a shaken bottle of soda that, to go to <laughs> with the cap on all day long. Um, you know, is it be it might be better to do a half day on that day because. Yeah, so that's the one that it would probably be either discussion point. So just kind of as you for can, next as you think, year or this, is, year this is for next year, next, year. next year's calendar. So as you can see, because it, it ends on a Friday, and so when it's like the 22nd, mm -hmm. 
you can you're, you're yeah, but five there. days you, but five days away is Christmas so it's like it's still it's, always it's a long way away. so it's kind of been that's kind of been back and forth um, in the discussion but that's probably the other I would say full day on the 20th and the 23rd <laughs> yeah, right. That's what we, yeah, we did it when we were little. <laughs> you are not popular. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to we'll make sure, have to. We'll make sure yeah. Maureen wants to go to school on the 23rd. <laughs> in that, in this, I think in, we're getting out awfully early in June myself. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, yeah, I mean, when you look at the, you know, the 11th is the last day without snow days. Mm -hmm. You know, you know you're going to have... Um, you know you're gonna probably go into Monday or Tuesday the following. You're gonna, yeah. oh, you know, you at least gonna get through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We I mean, did well this year. It's still March. <laughs> You're talking about yeah, but I saw the sweet oh, the street 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 all right. We've done a great job so far. All right. Okay. Um, so we don't have a vote then? On so there's no vote on those. Right? These are both, again, so that you have a chance to review it prior to okay. the um, school I committee schedule. Oh, yeah. Know, yeah, the school committee schedule. Committee? So mm -hmm. I modified it to look a lot like this year. Mm -hmm. um, keeping you guys with the... Good morning. Is that work? Morning. How is that working for you? I love it personally. Yeah, I mean, I guess the only, um, I mean, this morning things with, you know, it, there was the, the concern with if teachers wanted to attend the meeting, if we are, at, we may want to go earlier, go earlier on the budget meeting or or, maybe or in the evening. I, I sort of oh, also worked out other right. people. It works fine, but I think that I heard from some people like I originally that was the that was the game plan originally yeah. that we were going to do that as a night meet the one night meeting. But even if we had, even if we had a night meeting before for a public viewing of the we budget, the we viewing. never we never got anybody to come other than Paul. No, that's true. And we we've always had the opportunity for them to come and no one's. I mean, I'm not saying they wouldn't do it in the future, but well, don't change don't. The potential changes this year. Yeah, that's why we got the crowd and. Well, we can always adjust it. You guys can do it. So you, it well, just, 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 know, you just so you know that the, the public, public hearing, hearing I have to know. Out. I have to know well in advance of the public yeah. hearing because it has to be posted in the paper and stuff. Yeah. So we just have to know that we'll know what kind of budget cycle we're in next year. Hopefully, better. You know, in, early. Yeah, early. It will, if it, you know, if we see it's going to be a difficult year or if it's going to be a pretty smooth year, we can make a decision based on that. Mm -hmm. So, okay. if you want to do that, or okay, well, yeah. sh should we vote on school choice, or do we want to wait? And it's on the agenda. Oh, it's so. on the agenda. <coughs> so, okay. so. Okay. Um, I, I think if we can run through the updates quickly, that would be good. Because we're not getting late. But capital projects. The only thing I wanted to mention is there was that grant that they're coming to school, UMass. Clean energy. Oh yeah, that, right? mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, so it would just be great to be supportive of that. Yeah. But Bob, I think, is going to be here. Is that the one like we got before with the lighting and stuff like that? I think so. A year or yeah, two so ago? the school is one of the bigger energy users, so they're going to be like an energy audit. Yeah, let's make sure to see what we can go with that before we announce it. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have any other updates. Okay. Since, you know, since you're just asking about that and energy usage, has any of the schools ever looked into uh, solar? As, as you know, with the money and grants that are out there and stuff. I, I mean, I know at Frontier we can't do it because we can't put it on our roof. But here we probably could, but we would have to have open space for, you know, even if we did something like UMass does, you know, they have it in their parking lots and yeah. everything's up. I mean, I think when I saw that for the first time at UMass, I says, boy, somebody was awful smart by putting the solar right. here we could park Multi -purpose. underneath oh, right. it was, it right. was great so taking a, a beautiful feel well i think this might have up. suggestions this yeah. project that's they're, where they're coming and looking at the school they might make suggestions but i'm not sure do we have do you know of any schools in our in our so around here that have solar what are the ones <coughs> close to sunderland school they're owned by the town they're owned by the town yeah um so you know the early we had conversations. I had a conversation with Bob Lesko a few. This is now a few years ago. Once with Frontier, talking about putting. You know, you, you look at the roof yeah. of Frontier. You're like, well, 
why aren't there solar panels on that roof? Mm -hmm. And his big his big issue pushback was to put them on the roof is going to cause you know you know, how many holes you're going to put in that roof on an older roof, oh, and yeah. he goes you're going to cause more. It's going to cost you more than you know, than some of that savings you're going to get on electricity. Right. That was his, and he kind of was a, I totally against agree that. There, yeah. um, and then a, a flat the flat roof rubber roof again yeah. you're yeah. you're going. How many times? So that was kind of the push against it. So I mean, it is something we can have this group see what they say about this building being a metal roof again. Um, Probably don't. You know, don't know. Really well. they, talking about the number of square footage of wattage that you need to make a difference. You know, you know that kind but of. But like we have a beautiful parking lot. <laughs> you know, I mean, there again. My folks would be fine with covered parking. I mean, if we, if you know, but if we, I'm not sure what it would cost. I'm not sure about grants, but we got southern exposure over here. And it is a parking lot already. I mean, I imagine that is very expensive. Mm -hmm. But be interesting if it's if it's people from UMass, they must know what it costs to put them in those parking lots mm -hmm. at the yeah. Mullen Center yes. and stuff. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just a thought. I mean, it's worth yeah. exploring. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I have a question. I think it was last year there was some kind of a. They probably do it every year. A safety committee comes in and assesses the school, and there were comments. I think in every school about the front entryway, um, about changes there. So we do that as part of our, um, when we do the lockdown drills, the, yeah, the state police come through, um, uh, Jimmy Carmichael. Um, it sounded expensive and I don't know like if that's required and like, yeah, there what's the timeline the discussion of be? changing the entryway so mm -hmm. that you could... They, could they see like to see a, a, what's it called, a vestibule kind of, where you can come in and you're in a Right. With Old an area. so you can drop off your kids' sneakers without actually coming into the office. Uh -huh. yeah. You know what I mean? You can through a window, window that something. kind of thing with a double entry. And that's how the newer buildings are being yeah. built. Uh -huh. And so the question is whether or not you could recreate. That. Could you create that? The amount of money it takes to create that. So it's a, a recommendation. It's yeah. not. Uh, they recommend it for all. They recommend it by all to all yeah, schools. That's what and I was none of our schools are set up that way currently. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. So. No, it's not something we're looking to do right away. Right now we're not. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, any collaborative updates? Or? No, um, we're meeting uh, either next week or the week after. Okay. Um, principal? Um, I think I put one down kind of a long time. Actually, after the last school committee meeting, we had um, we presented Terry Anderson with the uh, Green Spoon Excellence in Teaching Award. Um, so that's very exciting. She's certainly very deserving. Um, works really hard with her students, but also um, has a, a unique way of bringing the world to Waitley Elementary School, which is is very important. Um, very happy for her, and she will be. Presented with her award at a dinner at the log cabin in the spring. That's great. Um, March 3rd, we had a very successful pancake breakfast. <laughs> some, of you were, some of you were there. Just here slinging pancakes at Chris 6 o'clock in the morning. Big hill. Um, but it was a really great, great opportunity to meet not only some of our Waitley Elementary School families, but the whole community kind of shows up for it. So that was great. Um, had to throw that in about it. <laughs> 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 um, here it says there are several new trophies that we have. <laughs> in case. Um, I'm, I'm actually speaking to someone about either making a new trophy case or extending ours because we currently do not have enough room for all of our trophies. Mm -hmm. We're just, just saying. It's a good problem. We're just saying. <laughs> um, one of the parents built that one and oh. his son is still here. So. Maybe we can build another one. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to give, uh, include the MCAS schedule. Um, the well, MCAS schedule. Can I just put a shout out to all the staff that came to the basketball um, games this weekend. That was really awesome, and yeah. I think the kids and the parents really appreciated seeing everybody there. So, thank you. Well, we had we had a ball. <laughs> um, so the MCAS schedule is out. And we will be having, oh, I'm sorry. I did this really late last night and didn't put the date in. Um, where those X's are, I will get you April, the date. Um, April 6th. Is it April 6th? Um, Whatever the Saturday. Yeah, the spaghetti supper is April 6th. Yeah. Um, 
another great event that we'd love to see everyone at, and it, it raises funds for the kids to go to New York City. Yeah. So anyone watching this spaghetti supper, April Please 6th. come, Saturday, <laughs> April 6th. I'm pretty excited about that, because I'm also going to. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're going to New York? Mm -hmm. And spaghetti supper. <laughs> okay. Let's see the bar. So what is the end Is it April? End of April, beginning of May. I will uh, put that schedule to you. So I don't know, there's no written report, I'll just kind of give you an update on a few things that are uh, <coughs> that I'm working on outside of that 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 working on outside of budget. Um, contract negotiations are still ongoing. Um, we have a uh, meeting tomorrow um, for you period eight. Um, the other um, at the joint meeting on the fourth, we we may also at that point be interviewing a business manager. So we're at that point. Um, yeah, we hopefully we'll have a finalist in place by How then. many applicants? We had 11 applicants, okay. and then um, we did interviews yesterday, and so we're in that kind of part of the process at that point. So mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Um, who's doing, who's on the committee, or who's part of that process? <coughs> I got called in on the Bob, I called 25th in last hour. But the, I have uh, Phil Cantor <laughs> and Ken Cutterback. Um, so Phil from, the un, uh, from Frontier and Ken from um, Yep. Union and Ken was a former business manager, so it kind of was a no brainer. On a <coughs> Ken yesterday couldn't make it, mm. and we had all the interviews lined up, and so I frankly looked for someone who I knew would might be available. <laughs> so I, I didn't put a brush in my hand yesterday morning yet, and he called me at the right call. time. Yeah, I also saw um, also on the committee is um, Kristen Gordon, Gordon Kristen Gordon, Chrissy Gordon as the principal. <laughs> and, um, I had Kim McCarthy um, as a central office administrator position, and. Um, Paula Light from um, Looking Inc. and Accounting. So, so yeah. So um, the three, I mean, the three went well yesterday. The three interviews that we did do, yeah. all all three were good. Okay. I think okay. I think we narrowed it down to I think one. I mean, yep. so we're we're in the process there though. Yeah. Do, doing the doing like work behind the scenes. So, um, so yeah. So you'll be finding out soon, and okay. and that that'll be part of the. The fourth is going to be a big night because there's a lot of stuff to do. So, um, so that will be will be on there as well. Do you remember what time that do you remember what time that starts? Is it is it a six o'clock? Yeah, six. Um, and what are your thoughts on Louise and Bob? You have to fill all these other positions too, right? And Frontier, did you? Hire a new principal yet? Or? Yes, yes, we did. So okay. George was. Um, Actually, just walked by. He just walked by. We have an admin after this. Um, so yeah, George uh, Linus was okay. was uh, hired okay. um, for principal there. Louise, um, she just announced it last Friday. I was giving a little bit of time for it to settle in, but we'll be posting that shortly. Okay. Um, and we'll Is there any thought to restructuring the job or rethinking how curriculum is supported? Maybe using that position to help with other things too. Or? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I have, I have some ideas in motion about how I'm going to fill that position, um, and looking at it differently and how it supports principals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with each one, look at the good, the good parts, look at areas that we can improve, and, and what does that look like? So. Yeah, I, I'm. I think that the superintendent could use some more administrative, support, like assistant <coughs> superintendent support. So. I would vote for thinking of that position. I think it's great having a curriculum support for all the schools, but I think the principals are also pretty well suited mm -hmm. to do some of that. So mm -hmm. maybe someone who could be a bit of a hybrid and also help with some of the bigger picture. Look at that. She's trying to get you some help. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, not, me help. nothing personal. <laughs> 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 I just for your job or something. <laughs> I think there's a lot that the superintendent has to take yeah. on. The they time could use <laughs> some help. <laughs> In the timeline for facilities, um, he is, uh, while well, Louise's uh, position runs until the end of June, Bob is here through the summer. So okay. the timeline on that, I kind of just push that, push that down the down the list. Down the list. Okay. No, just, you know, I don't want to be, don't want to be so far Louise. away from the start date that, um, but, you know, word is out there in the community as I've, as I've heard. Okay. So, yeah. um, so that's taking place as well. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Not to go, not to yeah. do. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, so that's yeah. where we're at there. Okay. 
Um, is there any interest in, is there much to say in the contract negotiations at this point in terms of an executive session or no? No, no, no. not really. Okay. Um, it's been delayed a little bit, both on Frontier and uh, Union 38. Mm -hmm. But we meet, we meet tomorrow, will be a big session tomorrow, <coughs> we're hoping. Okay. We got a bit, you know, we got a Yeah, there was day. a change in um, leadership from the MTA with the union. And so oh. that kind of, it kind of, I would say it probably put us back up within our time schedule probably put us back at least a month. Yeah. Um, and then um, on the frontier end of things, just because whatever, the um, insurance, getting the, they're doing some changes to the insurance um, and making sure they want to make sure they have all the numbers there because that's obviously um, a money issue. So, yes. you know, they wanted to, so we're waiting to get away for the insurance okay. money. So now we have that in place. So, okay. you know, we'll see where we're at. Anything else? Uh, mm -hmm. No. Make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.